Thanks so much for keeping it tuned here. Our next guest is definitely a unique girl, so it makes sense that her name is Snowflake, Denise. Yes, she is unique, but unfortunately, the predicament that she found herself in is not unique. She was abandoned and found next to a dumpster at an apartment complex. It is so important that little bunnies, domesticated bunnies, are not allowed outside free. They cannot survive. They're not like their wild cousins like jackrabbits or the other bunnies that we see so frequently here in Phoenix, Arizona. This little girl needs to live inside with a family. And it's very important that bunnies have an abundance of Timothy hay. That's the most important thing in their diet. And lots of time out of their kennel to exercise. They're very, very social. And they want to be around people. So it's important that you bunny proof your house very well, kind of like kitty proof your house or doggy proof or puppy proof your house. You have to bunny proof. And she gets a lot of time out of her kennel to spend with her human family members. But she's going to make someone a wonderful pet. They can be potty trained and learn tricks. So cute. I just love her. And look how calm she's being. Thank you so much, Denise. And you still have a few days to enjoy a delicious brew from Santan during the month of December for every pint of their Juicy Jack IPA purchase. At participating locations, a portion of the proceeds will d be donated right back to our sick, injured, and abused pets. So make sure you go out and try that. And we're keeping with our winter wonderland theme. We don't see a lot of snow storm storms here in the valley, but this blizzard is welcome any time, Perry. Right, Kelsey. And this is a not a pure white blizzard. This is an apricot blizzard, and what a pretty one it is. This little poodle right here, and it is only a six-month-old poodle. This is a puppy. Came to us from a good Samaritan, found us astray with a very, very dirty matted coat. So she uh, had the grooming job, and she's all ready to go now. And she is one actually terrified puppy, not very, very well socialized, is going to require some socialization, so puppy parties would be great, meeting lots of different people would be great in the household. You can't see it right now. She's got this paw wrapped around me. She also has the other paw wrapped underneath. She is holding on for dear life. She is very, very scared. Uh, she's great being held like this, as this is what she likes, but when you put her down, she is a flight risk, as a lot of scared dogs are. So when you have a doggy like this in the house, you got to do a lot of, uh, it's a project for you. As I said, lots of socialization. Uh, make sure that their microchip is up to date and that they are a microchip, period, and that all the identification information is on them. Because like I said, she is a flight risk. When you're in the house with a doggy like this, make sure you watch them when the doors are open. Uh, just, just be very, very careful. We see cases of lost little dogs all the time at the shelter. This little one, though, like I said, she is adorable. This is an apricot poodle. We don't get a lot of them in. She's six months old. She's wonderful. She's going to make a great lap doggy for someone. She just needs a lot of work right now. Come on down and get with a blizzard. That's right. We don't want to see her back in our shelter mm -hmm. unless it's for a checkup. Thank you so much, Perry. Mm -hmm. And as the weather gets cooler, it's important to get something comfy and warm for your feet. Well, you can't go wrong <laughs> with slippers, Linda. Oh, that's the best way to end the day is in a robe with some soft slippers. And what a great little... Well, she's not actually a pair. Her pairs are in that crate over there. This is slippers. She's about 10 weeks old, and she came to us... Through a foster, she had to be fostered first, I should say, and um, then she got enough weight on her, and now she's uh, up for adoption. And one of the things that Perry was mentioning earlier about the holidays and puppy proofing and, and kitten proofing our homes is the fireworks on New Year's Eve. I wasn't even thinking about that. We always focus on that around July 4th, but New Year's Eve is another holiday that a lot of the pets will get out loose, and if they're not microchipped or don't have the proper identification, they end up lost, scared, in bad situations. So if you're planning to be around fireworks this holiday season, please keep that in mind. I know Ter Perry's afraid of Christmas ornaments. I'm afraid of fireworks. Let's take slippers home for, for the holidays. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. And our next cutie reminds me of a great holiday movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Tell us about Grizz, Lisa. Yes, this is Grizz. Her, her owner could not take care of her any longer, so they brought her to us to be rehomed. As you can see, she's a little bit skinny, so she could use a few extra treats around the holidays this year, unlike most of us. So she is a little chihuahua, um, probably maybe a Jack Russell, maybe a Rat Terrier mixed in there. Um, but come down and meet her. She is a little bit of an escape artist, her people report to us. So you're going to have to keep an eye on her and make sure that you have a nice, secure backyard fence. But um, she is wonderful, a little lap dog. She's quiet, haven't heard a peep out of her yet. But that is one thing I want to remind everybody when you do come down to the show. When you see dogs in their kennels, some are quiet in their kennel, 
but bark when they get out. Some bark in their kennel, but are quiet when they get out. So what we want to make sure everybody knows is when they come down to the shelter, please ask a volunteer to get the animal out so that you can get to meet them outside of the kennel and get a feel for what their real personality is like. Great tips. Thank you so much. And don't change that channel. We're going to introduce you to even more cuties like Lula May.